In this video, we're going to take a look at DeepAgent from Abkis AI, which is a really powerful general agent that's capable of automating or building anything. And in this video specifically, I'm going to show you how you can be able to use DeepAgent here to build and generate anything. So first thing first, I'm going to show you how you can be able to use Abkis AI DeepAgent to build a game where a user can be able to play with another user. And I'm also going to show you how you can be able to deploy this game where you can be able to share this link to other people. And I'm also going to show you how you can be able to create a marketplace web application where it has front end, back end, and also the database where user can also be able to buy and sell here on this platform using the deep agent without any coding and then i'm also going to show you how you can be able to use deep agent here to generate videos how you can be able to use deep agent here to automate your browser research to automatically do research for you to find the cheapest flights or travel plans by simply just using prompts and lastly i'm also going to show you how you can be able to integrate this with third-party applications like gmail slack to scrape websites from different sources and be able to create a job alerts where it can be able to send you jobs automatically to your email so that's what we're going to cover in this video so if you're interested Let's get into it. All right, so to get started, first thing first, we navigate to deepagentsapplicants.ai. And to get started, we just need $10 per user monthly. So after we unroll with the plan using the link in the description, you can simply just click on sign in here. And once you sign in, this is what the application looks like. So here you can see on the bottom left, we have our deep agent button where we can navigate to the deep agent parts. So here we can be able to provide the prompts and deep agent here will basically execute any task on our behalf. So here you can see I have instructed to create a fully functional game called Xiangqi, which is a Chinese board game, and they can be able to join the game with different accounts. So I'm just gonna provide this prompts and let the agent here to build the application for us. And here you can see it's first asking some clarification questions like the accounts, the multiplayer in real time, and also be able to add the undo functionalities and such. So once I clarify the requirements, here you can see it starts to build a full application here. So all the way, so here you can see after it's fully completed, we can see the application on the right. We can also preview the database. So here you can see it creates multiple tables for the database for the application. Things like the games, the move, and also different types of users we have. And also we also can be able to view the full code for the application, which contains the front end, the back end, and the database. And here I can also be able to change two different views, for example, multi-view, the functional views, and also the mobile view as well. So here, let's say if I want to use the application. So here I'm going to sign in for the account. And once I sign in here, you can see this is what the dashboard looks like. So here we can create the game, join the game, or we can also be able to copy one of the code here that I joined. And I'm going to join this room right here. So here, once I join the room, you can see that we can be able to play this game. And here on the bottom right here, we can also send a chat message. So let's say if I were to send a chat message here, come to the database, you can see that inside of the chat message table, there is a message sent from this room and also from this user ID. So pretty much you can see that we have a fully functional application here with the database and also the front end application. Now we can also be able to deploy this application within the applicants.ai domains. And here inside of this, we can give it a deploy name. So here I'm just gonna name it the Xiangqi game. And what's gonna happen is once we're gonna uh, create this de deployment, right? So it's gonna deploy the productions. We can be able to navigate to this link open a new tab here, navigate to this link, and we can be able to play this game right here inside of our browser. So now here, let's say if I were to create a new user here, send another message saying hi, and let's say if I were to send the message hi, and let's say if I were to come back to the other user here, you can see that I can be able to view the message in real time right here in the application. Now, what if we don't wanna build a game, we wanna build a full stack applications like a marketplace. So here you can see I provide another instructions to build a two-side marketplace where we have the buyer, the seller for the experience, similar to the Facebook marketplace or Craigslist. So here you can see these are the features and also the buyer experience and also the seller experience, which here you can see it gives detailed prompts on the features that it offers. Let's provide this to Deep Agent here and see what Deep Agent generates. All right, so you can see that with just one prompt, it is able to generate a full marketplace application where we can choose the buyer or the seller, or we can choose either size. So let's say if I wanna sign in with the application, I can also view the database for the accounts, the sessions, the products, the messages, and so much more. So let's say if I were to sign in for the application here, and once I sign in, you can see that this is the marketplace where we can view all the products. So obviously these are mock data, but you can see that we can search for different categories, sort by different products and search by different price range. So here you can see, we can also be able to browse any products here. So pretty much you can see that we can use the page in here to build any types of applications, simply just using large language model here and is able to set up the entire applications from database, back end and front end, and also scraping the relevant assets for the images and building the right product here for us automatically. And eventually we have the option here to deploy this online using the Abacus domain, or we can also upload this to our own websites or own subdomains whenever 
whenever we need to. Now we can also be able to generate videos using Deep Agents. So here you can see I basically tell Deep Agent here to generate a lip sync video about a cartoon professor explaining the theory of relativity. So first thing first, it tells you the limitations, maximum of 90 words max for the video, which is about 30 to 45 seconds. And here you can see these are some questions that it asked me to clarify. So for example, what platform is it gonna be using? What video quality we're going to generate? and what kind of content we're gonna focus on, what is the professor look like, based on the things that they're asking. So here you can see these are the requirements that I set and it's able to generate a full video like this, which here you can see this is the 35 seconds video that it generates. So let's take a look at what this video look like. Have you ever wondered what E equals MC squared actually means? I'm Albert Einstein, and this is my most famous equation. E represents energy. M is mass, and C is the speed of light. Now, of course, I can also have it to generate a cartoon video that tells a funny story using the same characters above. And here, let's say if I want to do a vertical using TikTok formats, and here I want to do the highest quality and 15 seconds long for the story. So now let's take a look at what the result look like. All right, so that's pretty much how you can be able to automate the video creations using Deep Agents. Let's shift the focus on how we can be able to use the Deep Agents to automate the browser works. For example, let's say if I want to find the cheapest flights from Vancouver to Orlando, Florida between the times from September to December 2025. And here you can see first thing first is going to confirm some questions like where exactly is Vancouver? Is it in Vancouver, Canada or Vancouver, Washington? And also confirm the which airports and also is it a round trip or just one way? So once I confirm these things, then here you can see it starts to look through the browser here to search for these terms and eventually here you can see that it gives us a cheapest option for the flight which this is the amount and also this is the route dates and so on and here it tells you exactly the best three verified options and here you can see they also give you the booking instructions on how to book it but of course you can also continue to engage with the deep agent here to give more instructions for example i not only want to find the cheapest but also the shortest time flights and also the best airline ratings out of all between this time and this time so then here you can see it starts to look through everything again and find the answer. So here it basically generate a .md file that we can take a look, which first thing first is gonna compare the flight options by the month. And it's doing that for a different month of the year. So here you can see we have October and also November and so much more. And once it's able to know that which one is the best, then here you can see it's able to choose which one has the cheapest, which one has the fastest, and which one has the highest rated. So once we find those options, we can be able to choose, which based on the data, we can be able to make a decision on which one has the best option, right? And then there's also some recommendations on the budgets, the time, and also the comfort level. And it also tells you the data sources on where it gathered those informations. Now to make the trip planning here fully complete, here you can see I have also instructed to plan for the entire trips on where I was staying and what are the places that I'm going to visit. So first it's gonna confirm these things. Once everything's confirmed, it's gonna do the research using browsers here to search for these different keywords to do the research. So eventually here it's gonna come up with a plan, which here it highlights the recommended stay, the schedule plan, and also the dining experience and the total budgets. And eventually here we can pretty much delegate those boring browser tasks that we can be able to automate using the Deep Agent here for the research. Now, the other features that Deep Agent offers is that it's able to connect to a third-party application like Gmail account, for example. So here you can see I have instructed to scrape Google searches to find jobs related to developer advocates in the United States. Basically, I provide the email on the time on when I expect the email to be sent for the daily jobs scraper. And also here you can see we're looking to find 15 to 25 listings for the jobs. And here's the actual workflows that I detailed. So we're looking for these type of rules and these are the data that we want to scrape. And this is the format that we're looking for for the files and also send this to an email and this is the subjects and this is what the CSV look like. And then eventually here is able to ask me some confirmation questions and it's gonna to start to create that scripts that can run every single day at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So now you can see that inside of my email account, it sends this email automatically, which contains the 15 new and updated developer advocate positions from Google search. So here you can see these are the summary rules. And also this is the CSV data, which contains the list of jobs. So it has the job title, company locations, and everything else about the jobs. And just show you that it also worked with different days. So you can see that it's able to send this email today at 9 a.m. two hours ago. And this is what the email look like, which contains a similar CSV data about the jobs we're looking for. And of course, if you ever want to disable the task, you can always navigate to the admin parts for tasks. And here you can see this task is currently active, which runs every single day at 9 a.m. And here you can see, we can be able to view the results for the past couple of results that it gives me. So here, if we want to disable this, we can click on pause or delete, or also can be able to edit based on this JavaScript that we set. 
So pretty much that's it for this video about Deep Agent from AppKiss, where we can be able to build a game, web application, and deploy the applications from AppKiss, and also generate videos, automating the tasks, integrated with third-party applications, and so much more. So if you're interested to try this product, feel free to use the link in the description to try this out, which you get access to the Deep Agents, the Chow LM, and also the Co LM here. And if you're interested on how to use Co LM, you can check out this video right here, which I made on how you can be able to use it. And with the basics here, you can get up to three tasks that you can create. And if you want to create more tasks like what we just did here, you can also be able to upgrade to the pro tier with additional $10 where you can get unrestricted access to a more powerful version of Deep Agents. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. If you do find value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.